Welcome back, I'm Tedward, and it's a therapy drive kind of day. Acura has just dropped off this 2020 NSX in indie yellow in my driveway, and we've got two Acuras in the driveway. Gee, which one would you choose to drive? Mm, I think we'll take this. This is supposed to be kind of the everyday supercar, and the NSX is largely misunderstood. This is a press car, so we're gonna go have some serious fun in it. They've left me with Soto Zero winter tires, thankfully because it's cold and wet and hopefully we're going to get some snow to play in this week so this is not the only video that we're going to do on this car we're going to do a few videos on this one because i've got it for the week and i'd rather just show you what it's like to jump in it for the first time so let's hop in start it up and find out if it's really a supercar i'm just kidding it's a supercar let's just stop that argument i'm not putting that in the title come on i tell you what this winter has been kind of rough but the sound of this twin turbo V6, coupled with a bright yellow car, it's doing it for me. Mmm, nice wipers. All right, let's put our heated seats on. Let's pop it into drive. I'm gonna move my seat forward just a little bit. Very nice. And parking brake, off we go. This thing is so low that it's a little tricky to get out of the driveway without scraping. I'm trying to be really careful here. There we go. Oh, we did it, we did it. It's incredible how quickly this thing gets up and goes. Yes, it's turbo, so there's a little bit of lag, but you do have this electric motor up front, which helps to smooth that out. There's very little delay when you're waiting for torque. Let's see how she does over some bumps. I mean, really, this is the real test, right? It's not bad, it's not jarring, and there's really no NVH. How awesome is that? Sometimes you get in these supercars, I'm not gonna name names here, but all you hear is creaks and squeaks, and you're wondering, like, am I breaking this thing? But we are just gliding over some pretty aggressive bumps that make my M3 make a lot of noises, and the NSX is holding up. This is fantastic. You know, supercars are going to get different in the next few years for sure. This NSX will be looked at as ahead of its time because everyone's gonna have to go smaller. The, the Lamborghini V12 is going to be a thing of the past for certain. Even McLaren is probably gonna have to figure out how to go smaller. When we look at Mercedes AMG, we just got word that the eight cylinder that we get in the C63 will be a thing of the past and that's going to go to a four cylinder hybrid model. So, you know, this is a really interesting vehicle in that sense because it, it, it predicted the future and everyone was mad, but now we're driving and we're like, this is pretty good. I have to give so much credit to Acura for giving me this car in February. And the fact that they give it to me on winter tires, like, are you kidding? They know what's up. They, like that's, ooh, we need more of that in the world. YouTube is all about this fantasy land where everybody lives in the canyons. Everyone's just going to cars and coffee every day. And oh, isn't everything great? That's not real life, man. That is not real life. Real life is driving garbage B-road that are torn up by plows, that have frost teams, and you don't want to put your car away for the winter. Let's see what it does here. Oh. Even on a little throttle there, I can feel that rear end really hunker down, man. This thing is a blast to drive. It's heavier than the competition. That's, that's the one thing it has going against it. This one's like 38, 3,900 pounds. That's not light. Meanwhile, you've got an R8 V10 Plus. That's kind of around that 3,500 pound, 3,600 pound mark, which again, that's not a light car either, but we do look at that as a supercar, which is kind of silly because really a supercar should be like, you know, 2,900 pounds. That's just on brakes. Oh, I love it. Tell you what though, a gloomy day like this, getting in a bright yellow NSX really changes the mood. It has been difficult i'll tell you like yeah you're watching me on youtube and i'm driving fun cars it's a blast to take a unimog out in the snow i'm not going to deny that but you still got to wake up every morning you still got to make that coffee you still got to put a smile on your face and get to work no matter what you do so whether it's me editing videos or creating videos or you getting on that zoom conference call in order to make your dollar and pay your rent like it's all the same and 
it doesn't make it any easier when it's dark all day, when it's gloomy, when it's cold, when you don't even want to go outside for a walk. Like, God, exercise is everything when it comes to mental health. And when it's so cold that it like deters you from going outside, forget about it. So I know this is an extreme example. Hey, everybody, go buy a $200,000 yellow NSX to make yourself happy. <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to misconstrue that as like objects will will fix everything and make you happy, but I will say colors colors make a difference and this thing really does genuinely brighten my day. Let's get some pictures. I feel like a yellow NSX with a bit of a, a farmy background might be cool. This reverse camera leaves quite a bit to be imagined. <laughs> That's not beautiful. That's not beautiful. All right, let's see what we can do with the camera. Oh, she's already so filthy. I think I like it though. I think I like it better with a little dirt on it. Maybe the Acura PR people will like me for this. We'll find out. I don't think I like this angle, honestly. I'm gonna try something a little different. Let's move the car. Ooh, yeah, I'm feeling that. That's a little nicer. That's what we want. Get that good three quarter shot. Come nice and low. Oh yeah. Ooh, those, he oh man, this thing, look at these headlights. This looks so mean. I think that's that's good stuff. That makes me happy. That's kind of cool. I dig that. I love this head-on too, man. I'm kind of surprised. This looks good. Try some closer stuff. One of the coolest things about the NSX is the shape too. It's just it's so pointy and fun. I love this mirror. Oh yeah. I kind of like. It's funny too because like I try to shoot low, but there's so much cool detail on the hood of the car. You wanna get these nostrils in there. It's so mean. This is what I really like doing with cars. I love just being able to go out and tour around without the pressure of having to give the car back right away. You get to learn a car. <laughs> this is, I mean, this is way too fast for the street. Are you kidding me? Like, you know, it, everyone on the internet would have you believe that the Acura NSX just does not hold up against the competition and its price. Oh my goodness, it's too slow, it's too heavy, it's not a track car. This thing is an absolute savage. And in 2019, they updated a whole bunch of stuff to make it even more precise in the suspension. They gave it a little bit more power. It does zero to 60 in under three seconds. Like. You know what, if if it does a lap time a few percent slower than a 600 LT or a 570S or whatever, like, does it matter? Because I'll tell you what, when you floor it, when you really get into this thing on a public road, you get the fizz, you get the, ooh, that's a fast car. It's always gonna be somebody faster and there's always gonna be a comment there saying like, my 1800 horsepower twin turbo Viper is faster. Well, yeah, it friggin' better be, but this is a production car with a warranty. Like, come on and listen to it. Oh, the sound. Oh, this is good, man. Long live Honda. I always change my mind. I should have taken that little road there. Oh, well. Torque fill is something really special because between gears, there's not this giant leap or punch definitely feel the gear change but it's pretty smooth it is really smooth around town let's just put it in quiet mode instantly look at that off throttle engine turns off i'm pushing on the throttle engine still off we're running on ev i think we're helping it charge by staying off throttle it's got its little bit of regen going on wow this is so cool I love the head whips from the from the Subaru boys. They like it. Yes, 
that will be blurred. Yeah, it will be blurred. Sorry, kids, not showing you that one. Oh my goodness. Like, do not let anybody tell you that this car is not fast enough. Fast enough for what? Fast enough for street racing? I mean, there's always gonna be someone faster than you. This is so good. Jumper in a Sport Plus. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna have to blur these speeds out. I don't think Acura is gonna be happy with me if I, if I leave that in. Wow, do you feel the delay though? I got on it and it like got the gear and then it was like, wait, 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 off we go. So there was a little bit of a delay. I'm not sure what that's all about. It could have just been the computer saying, hey, Dum Dum, it's a little wet and we're gonna have a little bit of slip here. You know what's weird about being like in an Acura and not in a Ferrari or something is I feel like it's like a people's car. You know, people like that car right now, we've got a TSX coming, he has an Acura badge. He's looking at me like, how cool is that, right? Like, this is like the top of the line of his brand. That's his brand, he chose that. And then behind me, Honda Element, part of the family. This is somebody who's like, hey, how about that? Now look at this dog, he's happy too. He likes yellow, dogs can't see that much for color, but I'm sure yellow shines through with that car. It's something bright and loud. Let's see how these wipers work. Tell you what, whenever I get into like a supercar, like a real supercar, typically the McLaren life. No offense to McLaren, but I don't think I've ever driven a McLaren that didn't immediately come up to me with like faults and telling me that something didn't work, whether it was a tire pressure monitoring system or a suspension fault, and then you have to restart the car, you get in, you lock it, you unlock it, you get back in, or the door doesn't want to close properly. All these weird little things in these supercars. Uh, some folks, some folks see that as charm. They see that as part of the gig. If your supercar works and it's not really a supercar, I don't know. I'm kind of about this life where like the thing I paid for works every time I get in it. I bet this does. I bet this genuinely works every time you get in it. Check this out. Let's get off the highways. Highways are not good for therapy drives. I don't know, not for me at least. I mean, I guess if you're driving like 10 hours somewhere, it's not so bad, but if I'm actually trying to enjoy the car. Highways are boring. Just a good way to run into a state trooper that you don't want to meet. I remember people talking about this car being disappointing to them in the same way that they were disappointed about the Toyota Supra. I, I just, I can't even begin to refute that. It, that that's, a, that's, a, that's a two hour video of me yelling <laughs> because this is a superb car. This is a super car. It, I don't know. There's always gonna be people who just aren't a fan of something like carrying the torch of something that they absolutely loved. A sequel, if you will a successor but I'll tell you what I mean this is like I said this is not the, this is not the review of the car I, I get in this car and I'm just I just I'm so happy oh. that is just absurd <laughs> that softens the blow of a global pandemic a little bit. But recently, my friend Eddie had a birthday. He turned 28. Happy birthday, Edward. Uh, but we, we couldn't have like a party for him. So we did a Zoom thing. And it was really fun. It was nice to see the gang together, even if it was just over Zoom. But we just played some like Jack Jackbox games. That sounds dirty. But, you know, little, little, little video games on the Zoom. And... Man, I just had not really thought about how much I missed that in a while because my life, you know, when people are like, oh, do a day in the life. Like my day in the life is so solitary <laughs> that I'm so used to it now that I forgot what it was like to have friends, to, to have people that you go see regularly. And I don't know, I, I'm, I'm relatively introverted, which is why YouTube life works really well for me. I'm able to get my social interaction with 
with with subscribers and with that you know three three day a week upload schedule I feel like that that is enough for me to to feel like I've interacted with people and had social interaction not everybody has that obviously I mean some of you really do need to be in in very large social environments whether it's a bar a club or whatever I don't know are you guys doing okay are you guys holding up like I don't live alone. I do live with my parents as any really successful 32-year-old single man would. But <laughs> I mean, I can't imagine if I was alone in the city in like a studio apartment and all the things I'm paying for, basically some crappy apartment, but you, to be in the city, you're paying to have access to restaurants and bars and stuff. Everything's closed. Everything's takeout only. Are, are you good? Are you okay? I mean... I'm able to kind of be out here in the country doing some country things because I have cars to drive, I have videos to produce, I have people on the internet to talk to. That's that that keeps me socialized. I don't know about everybody else, but I do miss seeing all my friends. It was fun just cracking jokes with people. I wonder too, like when I'm with people again, am I gonna be normal? Like am I gonna be the same me? Are we gonna be able to interact quickly and have the same quick wit that we had with each other or are we going to be like so horrified that someone's next to us breathing near us without a mask on that that we won't have the wherewithal to actually be nice social people i'm watching movies lately where people are together and near each other and it feels so weird you're like oh whoa 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 six feet boys six feet all right let's see if we can end this therapy drive on a high note by not scraping Perfect. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Don't forget to respect the drive. I'll see you in the next one, and I'll have a full review for you guys. And, oh, fingers crossed for some snow. I want to do some serious snow hooning in the NSX. I'll see you in the next one.